You're watching a Cardi Kaizoku video, aren't you? Cardi Kaizoku. Alright, this is long overdue, but we're going to update our Purple Luffy deck breakdown. With Purple Luffy being my most popular deck breakdown to date, actually, I didn't feel comfortable with people using a decklist that was built around a completely different meta at the time. In fact, I've started seeing people criticize the deck too, completely ignoring the context and time period that the video came out at. Yep, here's a little history lesson for you all. Sakaluchi as we know it today is actually a very recent thing. This is what the OP05 landscape looked like in Japan in October. We see here like Enel winning events. We even see like Red Green Law win events. Uh, a deck that Sakaluchi completely obliterates. So I feel like that's the most glaring proof of the state of Sakazuki in the meta at the time. Yeah, Purple Luffy was popular. Green Uta was popular. But as you can see, not too many Sakazukis at all here. In fact, this was what Sakazuki lists looked like back then. They ran cards like Fukuro, One Leg Soldier, was a pretty popular card. They ran Zef, they ran Tenkaido, No Hound Blazes. So, as you can see, uh, the meta was completely different at the time. And then we see at the end of October, going into November. What is this? Sakazuki? Sakazuki? Everywhere Sakazuki, right? And just like that, the meta has been warped around this deck being the most popular one. And then uh, the English meta took what the Asia meta learned and rolled with it. And we still see Sakazuki pretty much represented quite a lot in events here. And my Purple Luffy deck breakdown came out on October 29th. So at this point in time, Sakaluchi was just being figured out. So my first pass at this deck did not account for Sakaluchi at all because he was barely becoming a thing at this time around the same time this video came out actually so there's no way I could have known that it was going to be a force to be reckoned with yet. So I hope you can understand why that purple Luffy deck breakdown was the way that it was and now we can move on to updating it for this new meta, right? So what's different? Well fortunately we only really need to change a few cards. Here's what an updated list would look like. We cut out the Higurashi blockers. Uh, he just dies too easily to Houndblaze and Luchi. And we cut out Udashima as well. In their place, we added 4 OP03 Poly. In my first deck breakdown, I found ramping from 7 to 8 to be not as helpful since 9 is our late game goal number and we hit 9 from 7 already anyway. But with the prevalence of 4 drops in the meta, Poly's KO effect becomes really handy. Luchi and Rebecca in Sakazuki are 4 costs. Cracker and Sanji in Enel and Katakuri are 4 costs. The Vanillas in the Purple Luffy Mirror are 4 costs, and every card in Red Purple Law is under 4. Because of this, I, I think Polly is now definitely worth it to run. We also cut out 2 Miss Doublefinger and a Blast Breath. Since Polly has no counter, we replace those cards with 3 OP03 Gum Gum Jet Gatling. Jet Gatling gives us protection while letting us run no counter cards like Polly, Magellan, and Kaido. The trigger helps us ramp too, which is great. Everything else pretty much stays the same and the game plan is still the same. You can refer to my first video for that information. Here are some cards to consider. You can try to find some room to fit OP01 Udashima back in. He does help you in the yellow matchup, being able to swing back at their big bodies and also being hard for Eno to protect his last life against. Uh, OP01 Kamazo the Manslayer could be some spicy tech too in place of the Apus or something. He can KO a 5 cost when he himself dies for minus 1 Dawn which is great to take down a Rob Lucci or Gadatsu down with you, or pretty much dissuade your opponent from playing those cards in the first place. Here are cards you want in your starting hand. Law, Ulti, Page 1, Magellan, and Kid. Against opponents with no turn 1 play, you'll sometimes catch them lacking and they take their first hit of life, bringing them to 7 cards in hand. You can make them discard 2 cards with this blocker law. The Ulti, Page 1 combo on Curve applies immense pressure, getting 2 bodies out for 4 Dawn. Magellan and Kid are your mid-game menaces that you want to guarantee on curve. You can watch my first video for the strengths and weaknesses of the deck. Alright, let's show some gameplay with this new decklist. We have a Purple Luffy vs Sakazuki. We'll go second, right? We'll keep, right? Maybe I should have gone first. No regrets, right? 
They cycle and pass. Typical Sakazuki. But um, they're taking a while to press the pass button. They finally did it. We'll do the same. Let's see. If we play ulti page one next turn, will they have the resources to... What is it? Um, Lucius? Potentially, potentially. Looks like they're swinging us for eight. They cycle first though. Now they swing for eight. They will take... I think ulti page one is safe from... Oh, but Magellan would be better. Yeah, we'll attack with our leader for five. They counter one, we'll ramp. The Magellan and de-ramp him. He's four dawn next turn. Yeah, it's taking forever to click his dawn. Okay, finally did it. We'll pass. Four dawn. He'd need to like read eruption hound blaze to get rid of our Magellan without um what is it? Making him lose two dawn. There's gotta be a keyword for that. That's not D ramp. Okay, they cycle to start. They play uh, Borsolino. Nice, we're safe. That goes for five. We should counter this with the 2k, unfortunately. If I want to keep my ulti page one option open. We could ramp to seven though. Just make bodies that are hard to get rid of. Yeah, we'll attack with Magellan for six. Okay, I guess ulti page one is just counter in our hand for now. In this game. Forever. We counter two. We will ramp one more time. Play kid. Attack with our leader for six. Maybe they take the first life. Nope, they block counter one. We'll pass. We have two ulti page ones if we want for next turn. We're at 8, but we don't have the board space for it, but maybe they'll kill something. And then we just ping like crazy to turn after, if our characters live. There's no way he can kill 4 bodies, right? But ulti does have value as a 2k counter too. But yeah, playing 7 kid makes us 6k on his turn. That saves us some counter. But it makes him have to commit some dawn to attack us too. Okay, they play Rebecca. Hina, Hina comes out and the Hound Blaze to get rid of our Magellan, most likely. Yep, the 8k swing at us. I think we get rid of one ulti page one combo to guard this. Or I could go down to one life. Let's go down to one life. Yeah, Polly. Okay, we could poly, and then that'll give us two down to work with. Hmm. Can I combo kid with anything? No. Unless I ramp, but that doesn't sound like a good idea. We get extract to make them discard cards in hand. Decisions, decisions. I think we do one ulti page one. That leaves us with 5 dawn, no 4 dawn. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll attack Hina with our leader for 5. If they block with Borsalino, we can kill him with our kid. Okay, they block. We will play Polly. Kill Rebecca. Attack with kid for... Uh, I did this wrong. <laughs> yeah, I could have made my leader a 6. That would have been harder for the Borsalino to block. Kill Borsalino here, we'll pass. He balls that up. It's okay, we have a bunch of counter in hand. Let's make our board position better before we give them cards in hand. Okay, the gear eruption or poly, oh, another Helm Blaze is coming. But they do need to swing with leader first. But yeah, they have Hina as a Helm Blaze target, at least. I don't know, maybe they don't have removal at all. They're playing Great Eruption to fish for something. Yeah, being at one life is scary. But we have 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13k counter in hand. And 1k buff on our leader. They play brand new. Yep, they're fishing. They had nothing. Looking for a Town Blaze here. Right, that's the only navy card that would save him in this situation. Unless he plays a uh, Kobe. They find a Tsudu. The yeah, leader swings at us for six. We counter for one. But they have Luchi. They can kill our Polly at least. And then Hina can't swing at us, so that's all we have to do this turn. Fortunately for us. I think we could play Kid and then X Drake make him discard. Ooh, another 5 Kid. Okay, we'll play 5 Kid. Then we'll play X Drake, make him discard. Got the Tashigi. Swing 5k at them. I don't know if giving them cards now is a good idea. We take. We'll tag with Kid and buff our Luffy after attacking, but I feel like he had no counter in hand anyway. They take, we'll pass. Yeah, I just didn't want to do the 8k attack first. But, well, if I thought they were going to take anyway, then it didn't really matter. But in the end, it didn't matter, so... That's my justification for my mistake in attack order. Alright, I, I do not think they have enough Dawn. To finish me. If they Ice Age and then Hound Blaze, that's 3 Dawn and then 7 Dawn split between... I guess they only really need 2 bodies to attack me. What is that? 9-9? Nine, nine. Yeah, that I can defend. Okay, they swing Luchi at us for 6. Did I just block then? No, let's see what happens here. Counter for 1. Spell Leader. Back for six. Minus one cost to get. It could be a Borsalino. Um, we'll block counter one. I don't know. That's probably a mistake. But I feel like our kid's gonna die anyway. Hina six. It could just be a Borsalino. In which case, I saved a 2k by doing that. They attack kid. We'll counter one. Okay, they play four cost Borsalino, another four cost. Okay, so he was in no danger of dying anyway. Okay, we just clear board and I think we're good. We'll attack. Let's do queen first. Give us some options. Does Polly help us for later? Nah, we don't need him anymore. Okay, we have six Dawn to work with. So our next Drake attacks 6k into Luchi. We could play another Queen, or we could play X Drake, make him discard. Nah, I think I need the blockers out. And it's nice having him as a 2k in hand. Let's see if he saves this Luchi. He does. We'll do 8k at Luchi. Return to Dawn. Make our leader 6k. And then since I'll have bunch of blockers up. I'll attack with this kid as well. Okay, Luchi dies. We'll do 6k at Hina. If Hina dies, we don't attack with kid. No, let's attack with them. Yeah, we should at least try to get some damage in. Okay, Hina dies. Kid for 6. I think they take. Yep. And I don't think any trigger kills anything on our board. It could be like a Great Eruption trigger, we discard one. Nope, it's nothing, we'll play another Queen. Uh, dang, two Magellans, <laughs> we'll pass. Alright, I think we're protected enough. Let's see, how many removal does he have left in his deck? So there's two Sakazukis, one Borsalino. There's a good chance he has removal in his hand. He only played one Houndblaze so far. Okay, there's an Ice Age on Queen. Queen is a zero. They Helm Blaze. Okay, leader's an eight. They could go like eight, eight, nine. If they want to try to end. But I don't think that's a good idea. 
but that might be their only option, actually. Yeah, because we're both at one life, and I have more on board and more in hand than he does. Okay, they cycle four Kuzan. They play Rebecca. Okay, they're gonna try to stall some more. They could bring back a Bart and play it. Did they have a Bart? Nope. I guess just a 2k. Keep it in hand. Oh, they bring back a Hina and play it out. Huh. Minus 4 cost to Queen, but that's, that's it, right? They swing with their leader for 8. We will counter for 4. They could do Borsalino 8. But that would make it easier for me to finish, so they may just have to pass. Oh, but 3 Dawn, I'm brand new. I forgot he was there. Yep, that's what they do. Bring it us for 6. I kind of want to keep x trick to make him discard this last counter. Now we just counter 2. Don't want to BM him. We even get 9 Kaido? Okay, maybe we're going to BM him. Right, so... x Drake 6. They block Rebecca. Oh, now I can't. Kaido. I guess I can still play him for Rush. Kid for 8. They block. Hit for 6. They take. Queen 7, leader 7. That should be it. Queen 7. They block Borsa. Then leader 9. Just to be safe. Okay, we got it. Nice. Bye. We have a purple Luffy versus Saka Dookie. Um, let's... I'll look at this actually. This is much better, we'll keep as if we had a choice, because we mulliganed. Uh, they play brand new. Okay, they take a Hina. They cycle the Hina, they have three cards now. We'll swing for five. They take... If we ramp, we could play Miss Double Finger and then ramp again. Is that worth it? I don't think so. But all we can really do is play ulti. If we ramp, we might find something to play. Nope, never mind. Uh, just an ulti, I guess. Disappointed. We'll pass. Wish we had a page one to come up with her. Or if we had a law right there, that would have been good too. Because um, he, he was at seven cards in hand. Okay, they swing at us for five. We will... I don't want to take. We'll counter two. Another brand new. Huh, so no removal this turn, that's good for us. Okay, they have a O2 Kuzan. Oh, they run the Pacifista engine? What is this card? Bastille? What the heck? It's a non-traditional Sakazuki deck, it looks like. That kind of defeats the point of this video, doesn't it? Because <laughs> this deck is supposed to be updated to counter Sakaluchi. It just looks like a... Saka, a lot of... Not gonna finish that sentence, sorry. Ulti attack for 5. We counter 2. We could ramp and kill Mancherry. That seems worth it. We'll ramp. Play Polly. Kill Mancherry. Leader 6. We take. We pass. Yep, 7 Dawn to kill a 1 Dawn card. That's worth it, right guys? They Ice Age are Polly. Maybe they do run Luchi. In the end. They need a great eruption on our ulti. To pull it off though. Yep, they had it. Okay. Okie dokie. I guess I'll stop playing like a monkey. Now that I know he runs some normal cards too. He kills our board. Leader 5. I don't want to take any more life. I may have to counter this. It will counter. Right, he'll be at 8 next turn. We're at 10 now. So we'll do Kid and Magellan, I think. Kid. Magellars. Dawn Leader, attack for 6. A counter 2 will pass. 
Yeah, probably should have developed the kid last turn. Oh no, but then kid would have died in Polly's place. Okay, they attack with their leader for five. We'll counter one. Great eruption on Magellan. Okay, the Hound Blades is coming. Brand new can swing for six. I think we'll have to take that. Ooh, nine Kaido. And Luchi for six will counter two. Magellan, or the brand new for seven, remaining brand new, potentially. Oh no, they play four Kuzan. Oh. That's who I want to kill. So we'll nine Kaido. Kill Kuzan. Then we'll swing. I could probably kill him before he can kill me. Maybe he'll play a bunch of blockers, right? Let's see. We'll attack their leader for seven. We take the smart thing to do would to would be to kill Luchi, but I'm kind of want to attack his life for ten. We're crazy. Attack him for ten. They take. Okay, he's at zero life, but he'll have nine dawn to play blockers. We have to discard cards, but. We have cards that we want to discard anyway. Alright, let's see <laughs> if that was a mistake doing that. But yeah, we force him to spend 4 Dawn to play blockers, at least this turn. Potentially 8 Dawn. He might have to play 2 blockers. There's one. What does he bring back? Hina? Okay. They're gonna try to remove our Kaido as well. Oh no, our kid. Blaze are on our kid. Uchi is 9. Oh, they can make him uh, 12. I don't have to counter for that. Whoops, I should have cleared the board instead of trying to kill. Oh, they Hound Blaze again just to buff Uchi. He's 12 already. 13. That kills our Kaido. Then Leader swings at us for 5. I, I think we have to counter. I'm in trouble. And they cycle to look for more blockers. Yeah, we're screwed, I think. <laughs> seven kid. The leader attacks 7k at Luchi. At least get Rebecca out of the way. Okay, we'll pass. Probably has two more blockers in hand by now. Maybe we top deck a 9 Kaido if we live. Alright, if we get a rematch with this guy, I'll play more standard. <laughs> Okay, they attack us for 5, even though we're at 6k. Play Tsudu. Okay, they just want to get rid of our kid. Or Selino. And then Tudon. Tudon can't save him, right? There's no blockers he can play for 2. So I win. I'm the wiener. In the end. Attack for 6, we'll take. Wow. I guess in the end, I was the video game boy. I am the one who wins. 15k. We're wiener. You left. You leave her. I don't even know what just happened. Okay, bye. We have purple Luffy versus red purple Luffy. I uh, we're going second, right? Yeah, we keep. We have five kid. Five kid on turn two. We'll pass. Swing at us for 9. We'll take. We will... Huh. I'm going to swing at him for 5 and see if he counters for fun. By accident. But probably not. Okay, yeah, he's not dumb. <laughs> we'll ramp and play 5 kid and pass. Probably thinks I'm dumb for attacking for 5, but some people counter still for some reason. That's my secret cheese strat. It probably doesn't work in real life, but... You never know. <laughs> Okay, they play queen. They swing at us for six. We can block counter one. Save us some counter. Yup, we'll block counter one. Right, we're at seven, but we have nothing to kill with Polly because queen is five cost. So we do seven kid instead. That makes it easier for us to swing into his leader for seven. Then next turn we can kill queen with Kaido. We take. They're at 6 next turn, so Kid is safe, I think. 
Okay, we'll pass. He has a big hand too. We can hit him with law. He can hit us with law as well. If he plays him. But that would delay his uh, ramp too much, I think. Okay, leader 8, 9, 9k. We'll take. 3 Dawn is nothing to be scared about, I think. What is it, Zoro Juro? Oh, no, nothing. Nothing Juro, eh? I think we 9 Kaido here. Kill Queen. Back with Kid for 8. Hit Bagua. Leader for 7. Hit Counter 2. 10 Kaido for 10. 9 Kaido for 10, sorry. We take. Oh. Hmm, he'll be at 9. Yeah, we'll pass. We can ramp to 10. If it's just a white beard, we're cool with that. Because we have a lot of blockers in hand. There's a nine beard. Probably could have swung with this kid then. Get one more counter out of hand. Who's defending leader or kid? Both 6k, so it didn't matter. Okay, 8k at us. We should counter this. We'll counter for... Three. I do think we should hit him with the law. Hit him with the law. Ooh, we hit a radical beam and a Diablo jump. Good to know. We do Kaido 10. The Jet Gatling. Hit 8. Then we'll do a leader 9. We counter 1. Leader 9. Don't like the two polys in hand though. With the radical beam, we'll pass. Yeah, we'll play Queen to get rid of the polys. Depending on what they do this turn. We could see a 10 Luffy, but we have 2 blockers and 2 life, so we don't die from that. Okay, 6k from leader. We'll counter 1. Then Whitebeard attacks, we'll block with Law. And they'll play 10 Luffy. Or no, if, if he had 10 Luffy, then he would have played that first and then put Dawn on leader to attack for 7. After Newgate attacks, that is. Oh, okay, did, did it out of order then? Yeah, so I saved myself 1k counter there. Because he had, yeah, this Spare Dawn he could have used. And they go to 4. Oh, he, he forgot to use Luffy's, 10 Luffy's ability to ramp. Last turn, so he should have one extra Dawn actually. But yeah, I don't think it matters in this game. Yeah, so if it was optimal, I'd have... Uh, 1 2k gone in my hand, but still have law. And he'd be attacking for 10 right now. We'll counter this. Yeah, I would have had the counter anyway. 12k at kid, we'll block. Right, I think we have it now. Oh, Kaido 10. Oh, they just concede. GG. Okay, bye. We have a purple Luffy versus black yellow big mom. Uh, I think we can keep this. I think we can hit them with the law, probably. We'll pass. Oh, we're going first. Okay, we'll swing with our leader for five. No, they're probably going to counter. They know. They have to know. There's no way they don't know. Yep, they counter one. We will ramp and then play a Apu and pass. Usually you a pass Apu. They uh, thunderbirded our Apu. And then swing 7k at us, we'll take. Hopefully that means no more things can KO us. No thunderbirds can KO us. Yidatsu can't KO us. We can't really develop anything. I guess we can develop Magellan, slow him down a bit. We'll do leader 6. They take. There's the Magellars. We'll pass. I may have cut out that sneeze, so you might have just heard my voice make a really weird noise. But I sneezed after that, so hope that wasn't too weird. <laughs> so 
And now he's on Odd Dawn, making uh, 10 mom one turn later. They attack us for 6, we will counter for 2. They play Rebecca, what did they bring back? Sabo, okay. And then nothing comes out, or maybe something comes out. If it was my deck, Apu would come out. Oh, they play Kobe with nothing to target. I guess he's like a pseudo blocker because I'm going to swing into him. Very nice. Uh, well, Polly. Let's attack Kobe with Magellan first. Ideally, I'd like to um, Polly the Kobe, but I hope they block. Okay, no, Kobe dies. Well, fine. It's the same thing either way. We'll play Polly, kill Rebecca. Dawn leader, attack for 6. I was thinking of ramping, but I'd go to 9. No point in doing that. I'd feel a lot better with the 9 Kaido in hand right now. Ooh, they counter for 2k with 1k counters. Bro, I guess we'll play Queen next turn, try to fish for a 9 Kaido. Uh, but getting the kid out would be nice. And kid is a uh, evades Yamato, because Yamato can KO a 6 cost. They Tashigi are Polly, they play Rebecca, oh Kobe's coming back out. But that's like, <laughs> what was that? Three cards out of hand this turn? We're good with that. Yeah, since they're part black, we do have to worry about cost reduction for their Yamato. So, our kid may not be safe actually. They attack us with the leader for five, we'll counter one. We could just Polly again. Swing 6k at Kobe. Let's see, if we poly, we don't ramp any dawn, so we have 3 dawn left over. Maybe we don't do that then. The 7 kid turn then. We have nothing to do with this extra dawn, so let's stack it all. Stack Tishigi for 9. They may block with Rebecca if they need it, yeah. Then they'll use the minus 2 cost to kill our kid. The Tishigi gives kid minus 2, then they can play Yamato to kill him. But they don't heal because they're at 3 life, so... Aw. Oh. 8 cost cut that could do then? Put our kid at the bottom of our life? Oh, they attack with Tashigi. So aggro. Yep, here's 6k from Tashigi at our leader, we'll counter 1. Leader attacks us for 9, we'll take this. Uh, double finger trigger. Sure, why not? Just have another body out. We won't ramp with her, because we're going to hit 10 again next turn anyway. They play Bartow Blocker. We'll swing double finger at Tashigi. 4 at 4. Not commit too much power. Okay, she dies. We'll do Magellan 6. They block- I should have played Polly actually. Play Queen then. Didn't want to play Polly anyway. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of him. I know they run like small blockers, but don't care right now. We'll attack with the kid for eight. Use his ability. They take leader seven. They take play a poo and pass. Hmm, what can save him here? The so Yamato cannot kill anything on board. Because we're at 3 life total among the both of us. It would heal them. But so would their leader ability for only 4 dawn. Oh, here's what her leader ability does by the way. In case you're a new viewer and you're not familiar with the older cards. They play 10 mom. Then they pass. We may have lethal here. We can try to suss it out. So double finger for 5. Oh, we do have to worry about triggers though. We'll see. Counter one. A poo for seven. They take Magellan for seven. They take Kid for nine. Return one Dawn. But oh, we had it. Rematch. We got it. This hand... we're going second, so this is a perfect keep. They man Sherry to start, we'll pass. Interesting, they know we don't have a way to get rid of her until 7 dawn. And even then, I don't know if I want to waste it on the man Sherry. They attack us for 5. 
will counter. We pass, <laughs> we get rid of page one, we draw ulti. I guess I don't really need to be countering that aggressively since they're not like an aggro deck, but just want to be safe, you know? Attack with our leader for five. Everyone just wants to feel safe, don't they? In the end. They counter three or two. Why did I say three? We'll ramp and play five, kid. Pass. Yeah, we're not susceptible to Gedatsu, so five kids should be okay. What does this Hashigi do? Oh, it's like a mini four cost Kuzan. But if they put Dawn on her to activate the minus three cost, they don't have Dawn for Gedatsu, so we're safe for this turn at least. Okay, they Dawn to Shigi. Oh, they might have some other removal, like that Thunderbird card. Right. Our kid's gonna die. Not very safe now, is it? Swinging for six. I guess we'll block counter one since he's gonna die anyway. Yep, Thunderbirded. That goes for seven. We'll take this. At least we took only one life instead of two. Okay, um. So we play Magellan. Do we? We can save it for next turn. We can volley this turn. We'll poly kill Tashigi. Dawn leader swing six. They take right three cards. Oh, they counter two. We'll pass. Oh, there's a good chance they don't have any more counter left in hand. But we'll have to see. We are at 10 next turn. We could play double Magellan. Bring them back down to five. I like the sound of that. Okay, they use Mancherry to bring back uh, Tashigi. So they play Sakazuki to kill our Polly. That goes with the leader for five. We will counter this. Pass. I guess we swing at Mancherry. Don't want them to get free cards every turn. Okay, she dies. We'll play two Magellans. So if they had a 10 mom plan or something, who just ruined it by a turn, we'll pass. Yeah, seven, nine. 10, so like three more turns. So they can play that. And if they kill anything on our board, that delays it even more. Alright, here's Magellan's on KO, by the way. Alright, guess it's an opponent's turn effect, not an on KO effect. They attack us for 8, we'll take this. Take Mom for 8. Is it safe to take? Now, if they play 10 Mom, we would go down to 0 life at that point. So let's counter for 4. Very scary. They play a blocker and pass. We could play five kid. We play poly, kill the blocker. Then we swing 7k Sakazuki. Well, I guess they're not gonna hit 10 mom for a while anyway. I didn't need to worry about it. So let's just clear board just in case. They counter. On Magellan, let's do 8k just in case it's a 1k in hand only. Yep, he dies. Leader 5. Take, we'll pass. He'll bring us to 1 life and then at that point we need a blocker up. This 10 mom brings us to 0 and then they just have to survive a turn after that and then do a big swing at our 0 life leader. So we should have blockers up before that happens. Alright, they greater option are Polly. They play Kobe to kill Polly. Shoot on at us. We can counter this actually. Yeah, to be safe, let's counter for three. They play Bart in the end. We have two blockers to play. So leader five. They block Magellan six. They take. Magellan 7. They take, we'll play Queen. Then we'll play. I probably should have kept the page one because Jet Gatling doesn't work with one card in hand. Then we'll play Law and Pass. We have no counter in hand, actually. Well, we'll take a life and then that can become Jet Gatling fodder. Yeah, 10 Mom doesn't save him here. 
but I do think we have this one. Two down leader, swing at us or Magellan. At us, and then the heal one will take this. And six down is for more blockers. Two down, Kobe attacks us for six. We'll jet Gatling this so we can keep Law as an attacker. I guess we could have afforded to take that life too. You play Rebecca. What did they bring back? Just a 2k counter to hand, probably. I think I have the numbers for lethal regardless though, unless they get a lucky trigger. We shall see. But we're still waiting on them to bring back something with Rebecca. They bring back the Bart. Then they pass. Alright, we'll do Magellan 6 at them. Maybe they burn the Bart. They burn the Bart. Law 5. They block Rebecca. Alright, if they had counter, I wouldn't be able to finish, but then I'd just clear board. Leader 5 then. They take Magellan 7. They take and then Queen everything. 15. That wasn't the optimal way to swing, but same result. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, we won. Bye. Cardi Kaizoku.